In less than 2 minutes I'm gonna show you how you can change the color of your object like this. First go to the color tab, then select the color warper, which is this icon. And here you can play with the hue and saturation. You can see the color wheel with 6 sides. This side represents the blue one, this one is for purple, this one is for reds, yellows and greens. Our subject in my case is bluish, so we're gonna work with this side. So whenever I pull the last key, it's gonna change the color of everything that is including that color blue. But right away I notice a problem, that if you do this, it will affect the whole footage. And here is a solution. You can select the window icon right here, and we are gonna make a mask. To be perfectly aligned, we need to select this icon, because we're using the free version. If you're using the studio, you can use the magic mask. But it's also achievable in here, in the free version. Now when I have my mask, I can pull the side of the blue one, by holding the furthest key and moving it to the direction where I'm happy with the color I got. And when I play through the video, I notice that the color is off and that is because there are some movements in the camera. So to solve that, we need to track it. Simply click this icon and then click this play button, which is gonna start tracking the mask that you have just made. And once you successfully tracked it, you can go back to the color wrapper and you can pull the last key of your default color of your object. In my case, I'm pulling the blue side. And now when I play it, you can see that thanks to the tracking, the color is adjusted to the mask and that the mask is moving as the camera does. If you want to see some more DaVinci Resolve quick tutorials, make sure to watch this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.